no fucking point. I mean, she... Do it. You'll see. It'll help. <laughs> Sylvie, how's the real afterlife looking? It is nice as they say. Cause down here, it's still shit. Hell, might even be worse than before. Just wish I had done more. So things might have come out different. Positive energy, Victor. I... gonna miss you, kid. Señor Todopoderoso, escucha tu humilde servidora, que obra siempre en tu gracia. Lord Almighty, lend thy ear to your humble servant, who serves forever in thy grace. Recibe la luz calidad de tu reino a ti, a quien llamaste a tu lado y deja este mundo perverso. And bring unto your land of peaceful light the one whom you bid to depart from this cruel world, be. Y acéptala en compañía de tus santos. Amen. May you rest in peace, be. Yeah, the Judy hey. is one most depressing. After um, uh, Evelyn's suicide, now <laughs> V suicide. Give you a call. I know it's pointless, but once upon a time, people were talking to graves and nobody batted an eyelid, right? When I said I was thinking about you, I meant a lot about everything you did. <laughs> I guess... I get it. <clears throat> Why you wanted to leave this place once and for all? <sighs> but... St still, V. <sighs> Did you even think about, you know... What happens when... Shit, I can't do this! <laughs> Fucking hell. Hey V. Just wanted to tell you. I really hope there is an afterlife. Wanna know why? <clears throat> because that means one day we'll see each other again. And I'm gonna make you wish you never met me. What She's were you missed. thinking, huh? Or did you think about nothing at all? Is that it? And after everything I did for you. Everything! And what's the first thing you go to, huh? <laughs> Love yourself, that's what. There is <laughs> hell. I hope you're in it. Rotting. Burning. All of it. Bye. V. I heard what happened. You thought this would solve everything, didn't you? That this would adequately convey what you thought of this shitty world, huh? That's something that always pissed me off, you know? This whole romanticizing suicide bullshit. Like we're all Romeo and Juliet. Cause you're so fucking original, aren't you? The only thing you proved is that you don't give a fuck about your friends. Am I right? <laughs> Understand. My first partner back on the force blew his brains out. Didn't leave a note or anything. But I knew it was because of how the top brass were handling things. Of course, not like 
look had changed much. Except the fact we were down one more decent batch. Anyway. Hope you're in a better place, V. Hey, V. Don't think you'll ever listen to this message, but... There are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in my philosophy, right? I mean, in the end... In the end, it was your choice. Your choice to make. Well, you should know it. It didn't just affect you. It hit your friends, too. I don't think... I don't think you knew just how many friends you really had. Maybe we'll see each other again, V. You, me... Jackie. Until then... Take care. Hey, V. What's up, kid? Been a while since you came to see old Vic. I'll bet your tunes at the afterlife found you a new Major League Ripper, huh? Them swanky downtown fuckers shooting chrome out his ass? Am I right? <sighs> I mean it, kid. Get all you can out of this life. You deserve it. More than anyone I know. But stop by sometime, okay? Next time you're in the neighborhood, we'll talk about old times and... I'll take a look at you, make sure that the new Ripper of yours didn't screw anything up. See you around, V. Hey, V. Everyone's telling me you're a, a base gordo now. A big shot, eh? <laughs> so big you can't call me once a week. Once a month, even. Don't forget where you started. Who you started with, hmm? My door's always open to you, There's always food on my table. Mi casa es su casa. No se te olvide. Ahí te veo, Vi. Hey, Vi. I'm just, uh... I'm calling to say goodbye. I finally decided to up and leave this city for good. I realized this place only gives you two choices. You either become an asshole, or eventually you get off by one. I hope you somehow find an alternative. It's just a shame things had to end this way. Oh no. Have a nice life. Thanks. Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's sandstorms heading straight for us. So yeah, you're missing out. No, but seriously, we're doing all right. Saul and I somehow get along, for better or for worse. But still, family's always growing, work's always piling up. But better to keep busy, right? And to think if it wasn't for you, I'd still be stumbling my way through Night City. So I just want to say thank you. For all you've done for me. I'd still be lost if you hadn't set me on the right track. Alright, well... Talk soon, V. Don't be a stranger. Nope, nope. Oh, Hello, so. V. Mm -hmm. um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Alda Caldo. Oh. Remember that. Oh. Ah, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, well all of us have been wondering stuff. when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raffin Shiv. 
Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, B. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. Hey, B, so funny thing just happened. Oh, fuck, fuck's sake. Voicemail again. <sighs> Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. <sighs> what did I even want? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them? At first, I was like, oh, my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait. I could actually be fun. So, uh, what else? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you even care. Call me back when you can, okay? Bye! B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, well, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us, for me and Randy. The city needs more people like you, but I want to make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before samurai committed to seppuku, they wrote, to say, a death poem. <laughs> it contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late, some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell, Kusama. Summer. Well, fair enough. Hey, it's Paralas. V, you're gonna want to hear this. But first, we need to go somewhere no one's listening. Okay, so my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. She, she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab, and they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, 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 when you got a sec, call me, okay? Oh, yeah, and don't forget to delete this message. Well, he went for paranoid, of course. Hey, V. Listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but... We haven't seen each other for so long, and I... Well, one thing led to another. Know what I drew? Strength, the Emperor, and the world. Babe, the world's gonna hear about you. Go and show Night City what you're made of. So we may assume that the mission... There we go. Avi, I know you're a free bird and all, and you're gonna do what you want when you want. But you could at least let me know you're alive, you know? I, I don't want to say anything, but you missed your last checkup. And like I told you a million times, uh, just call when you can, okay? See ya. V, dejate de pendejadas. Straight to voicemail again? What's going on with you, eh? Lose your tongue or what? I know I wanted to tell you I'm, I'm cooking a supper on Sunday for Jackie's birthday. All his favorite food. Chilaquiles, tamales. If I could get some real corn, oh, maybe even a lote. <laughs> It'd be nice if you could come over. Think about it. Cuídate, amorcito. Take care of it. Something happened, or you needed to lay low. 
If you can, just give me some kind of signal that, that you're alive and everything's okay. Please. If you ever need help, you know I'm here for you, right? Always. Until you leave me. Stay safe. Call me when you hear this. Mitch survived. That run we did. My heart's still pounding. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. Just remember, we'd walk through hell and back with you anytime, sister. Until next time, eh? Take care. Got your message. Johnny, look, I've been around long enough to know that anything is possible in your fucked up world. But I never imagined this, even from you. You must have made a pretty big impression on V for getting her on board with this, so hats off. I'm just wondering how you feel about that, Johnny. Having another person give their life for you. Especially when you're probably just back to all-nighters and cheap tequila, laughing at how stupid she was. Or has your conscience finally learned its lesson? That is, if you've even got one. Good luck out there, Johnny. And don't ever come back to Night City. Hey, V, so funny thing just happened. Oh, fuck, fuck, shit. Voicemail again. God damn it. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. What did I even want? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them? At first, I was like, oh, my dead fucking body. But then I thought. Hey, wait. I could actually be fun. So, uh, who knows? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you even care. Call me back when you can, okay? Back! V, hey, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, well, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us, for me and Randy. This city needs more people like you. I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before samurai committed to seppuku, they wrote to say a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some were truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell. Kusama. Man, the 
magician, the star. Those, those are not good cards, V. They're really bad. They're something like death, but not quite. Yep. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll, I hope to hear from you soon.